Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. Uh, we find ourselves just on the outskirts of Antrim Town. And where we are is actually, as you can see, at a cemetery. And this is Muckamore Abbey Cemetery. Now, there was a monastery that was founded here at Muckamore in the late 6th century. And it was described as a great and fair monastery in a place in the middle of the wood, watered with many streams and beautiful with fields. And as you can see, the sun's shining today. So I hope it doesn't uh, spoil your view. But in the late 12th century, Muckamore was re-established as an Augustinian priory. And with the Reformation in the 16th century, then the priory was closed and the buildings were demolished. Of course, this was the dissolution of the monasteries under uh, King Henry VIII. And so we're going to go in and have a wee look. I'll let you see the heads. You can see the heads there, first of all. And that's some entrance gate, isn't it? As you can see there, it says Muckamore Abbey. And so we'll get across the road here. And we'll have a look inside because today I want to, I'll let you see this gate first before we enter. As you can see the heads there. Um, today I want to uh, share with you a 1798 rebellion story from Muckamore Abbey. And you can see the metal gates there, they're, they're really hard to open and close. You can hear them. And so I want to share with you a 1798 rebellion story from Muckamore Abbey. You see, Muckamore Abbey was the burial place of the Story family of Island Lodge. And the inscription on the family memorial records that John Story for his country died, or John Story who for his country died 1798. Now, John and his brother Thomas were actually printers in Belfast who became involved in the United Irishmen. And John Story fought at the Battle of Antrim and afterwards he was captured and executed. Now, Thomas was also arrested, but he escaped, believe it or believe it not, till America. And it's an amazing escape. It would make a queer film because Thomas had received instructions hidden in a roast goose and hiding in a barrel which was then rolled out of the prison in which he was being held and then he was able to make his escape. So he got instructions on a roast goose and he was able to get into a barrel and the barrel was rolled out and then he was able to make his escape. And he later returned to Belfast and the inscription for Thomas Story, and this is the grave here that we're looking at, and the inscription for Thomas says, Thomas Story who died the 19th of October, 1827. And so this is the burial plot of the Story family. And the information is actually on the grave, on the side of the grave there, as you can see, on the front of the grave. But it's uh, the grave itself is in a bad way. It's definitely in a bad state of repair. It'd be great if somebody could uh, could do this up because it, there's a good bit of history here with Antrim and the Story family. But uh, unfortunately, the, the grave is, uh, well, it's seen better days, as you can see. But that's the grave there of John and Thomas Story and the Story family. And so when I said I had a 1798 rebellion story from Muckinamore Abbey for you, I literally meant it. And so thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. God bless.